Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Wagner again with our latent print developing but using chemical means. So first things we have to do is we need some smooth, porous surfaces to lay our fingerprints on. So today we've used filter papers, uh, and then we need to place some fingerprints on them. So Liam, would you please place your thumbs on the first two circles? Nice and easy. Thank you, sir. Good. And then James, you want to do the next two? Nice, gentle, but firm. And then Bridget, you want to do the last two. All right, so our three methods of developing our fingerprints chemically, we're going to be using ninhydrin spray, um, which is going to bring out the proteins in the fingerprints and should turn a nice purple color. We're going to use silver nitrate spray which is gonna turn kind of a dark brown, almost black color once it develops. And then we're gonna also use iodine fuming. I have a makeshift iodine fuming chamber set up right here with the fingerprint already in there fuming. We'll see how it turns out. A lot of the time this depends on exactly how, uh, how dirty your fingers are. So thus I chose my children. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's start with the development process. We'll check on the, uh, the iodine fuming a little bit. That does take some time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to spray with silver nitrate spray. And you want to get it nice and moist all over the filter paper. And then we need our ninhydrin spray. So this one gets a little smelly, so stand back, kids. Once again, we want to essentially wet the surface of the paper. Uh, and these do take a little bit of time to develop. Well, at least the ninhydrin and the iodine do, but we can actually do our silver nitrate right now, depending on how, how dirty my children's <laughs> fingers are. Uh, could you grab me the UV light, please? Thank you, Bridget. So this is kind of neat, because under the UV light, silver nitrate is the same chemical that was used in old photographic slides. And if we left good fingerprints behind, we should see them start to develop as we place it under the UV light. Okay. You can see some kind of dark brown color start to develop under there. Turn it into this one. <coughs> you might be made to start to see some development right away. You can see some brown start to develop right there, right in the center. Trying to turn a little bit brown. There we go. See this fingerprint start to develop? I'll do it here. So we're going to leave these a bit, and in a little bit, we'll come back and check our results.